the, the road to the Commonwealth Games was pretty rocky. Obviously the main aim was to get back fight and fit, make the team selection and then um, do as much preparation as I could to make sure that I was the best I could be on that day. I wasn't going to be at my personal best but the best I could be at that day and um, to come away with a, with a gold medal at the end of that was um, absolutely amazing. Um, I think I think when you're an athlete and um, no athlete does their sport well, um, amateur sport for the money, but obviously any any little bit of money that you can get takes takes a little bit of pressure off you. But whether it be paying for rent or paying for food, you don't have to worry where 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 the next pound comes from. It just means you can co concentrate more on on what you're trying to achieve both in in studying and in sport. Um, I think I realised the other day that it, it was something that was never going to go away, that whatever I did in my life, university-wise or, or sporting-wise, then I'm always going to be Commonwealth champion. It's something that nobody can take away from me. So I think when I, when I first won the medal, it was one of, um, I felt a lot of relief, that there was a lot of pressure on me, that the build-up with my shoulder and that although I'd had a shoulder injury, I was still expected to go there and win, um, as I was the top seed in the world. That, um, at the beginning it was relief, but a few days after it was like, if I'd have woke up and lost it would have been everything, but because I'd woke up and won, I was just moving on to the next thing and yeah, it's fantastic. So one of the big benefits Edinburgh University has is we have 64 sports clubs, um, so the, there's a wide variety of options. Um, and we just try to publicise it as it is something for everyone. Um, so not to be scared to come and try a sport um, or if you are an international athlete as well we cater we cater for that as well so that's how we try to market ourselves as something something for everybody and to try something new when you come to university. Well certainly at the University of Edinburgh participation is going uh, through the roof um, we've, our numbers have gone up from around 6,000 um, in 2012-13 to the last academic year 13-14 up to 7,000 and that's looking to be pushing 8,000 next year. Um, so in terms of the legacy that we're seeing at the university, um, the numbers are going through the roof, um, which is fantastic to see, and so many more students getting involved in sport and being physically active as well. So on a day-to-day -day basis, um, work with the clubs um, to try and work on club development and developing sport at the university, um, just so we can cater for everyone, so we have your international athletes who are winning Commonwealth and Olympic medals, but also people who come to university um, wanting to try out, try out sport. And some of our most successful athletes have been those who have come to, you know, to, come to university and tried out sport, such as Catherine Granger, um, came to Edinburgh having never done rowing before, um, and obviously has gone on to achieve fantastic things um, at the Olympic Games and on the world stage, culminating in a, a gold medal in, in London, and now she's looking She's back in training for Rio in 2016. So a perfect example of how we've managed to, at Edinburgh, cater and attract someone to a new sport um, which she hadn't done before and she's gone on to obviously achieve great, great things. Yeah, I, I think when I picked the course I thought that it would um, fit a bit hand in hand with what I'm doing. A lot, a lot of what I'm learning this year is about event management and sport sponsorship and sport marketing and obviously judo being a minority sport I think that um, and I'm away competing at events I see a lot of things that hopefully will will help me to like, I think this semester we've got to plan an event and I've been to that I've been to a vast array of events from world championships to the Commonwealth Games and I, I think it will all help in um, in my studies definitely this semester and hopefully on to the next one. Yeah if Rio come and gone and I hadn't done any, everything that I could have done to to get there or to to win a medal when I get there then yeah I think I'd only be disappointed in myself.